question of death and the question of life are enormous philosophical problems. Life is generally identified with a biographical duration, that of an individual from birth to death, a lifetime. It is also linked to this duration, its slow development, proliferation and generation, children, wealth, the accumulation of inheritance, heirs, territory, in other words, an extensive dimension. Can't we also imagine an intensive dimension of life? Being alive means being lively. Quick. Being lively means being speed. Being quickness. Being liveliness. All these terms challenge us. There is a struggle which we try to bring to life between the metabolic speed speed of the living, and technological speed, the speed in cars, telephones, the media, listening. There is also a couple formed by metabolic speed and technological speed. We want to analyze this coupling from a critical point of view, because this coupling proved to be fatal. We know that video, for example, is capable of taking consciousness. After eyeglasses, hearing aids, etc., We ask ourselves, what do we want? The horizon is technological.
spite of everything, it's really worth it. wasting away behind walls and dark glasses. I wanted to see something in full daylight. I was sated with the pleasure and comfort of the half-light. I desired daylight as water and air. The doctor had a pathology laboratory. He was interested in blood. People would come and take some kind of drug, stretch out on little beds. They would fall asleep. One of them used a remarkable trick. While taking the prescribed drug, he swallowed poison and fell into a coma. The doctor called it. Rotten trick, <laughs> and was bringing suit against 